I've been uh, recently getting a few questions from you um, about a uh, pheasant drive, you know, pheasant shooting and exactly what is a pheasant drive and what goes on. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to make my way to um, a drive on my local shoot and I'll speak to you then. Okay, um, this is a drive on my local shoot and I have got another video um, about pheasant, this, this drive, this pheasant drive, but um, there's a few of you just been asking a few questions exactly what goes on, so in this video I'll just uh, explain in a bit more detail. In pheasant shooting um, it's called a, a pheasant drive because the birds um, are actually driven towards the guns um, by beaters. Now then, um, where you where you actually stand in the pheasant shoot or a pheasant drive, um, you have to stand in a specific place. You don't just um, wander around with your gun, so to speak. Um, what you do is at the beginning of the drive, you actually draw your stand number. It's like you know picking a, a number out of a hat, so to speak. And for instance, I'll just show you a stand here now. If you picked stand number two then this is where you would stand you could see that there this is um, you know stapled to a fence post but other stands could be um, just a stick in the ground you know with that number on the top of it so if you're at the beginning of the drive if you picked stand number two then this is where you would stand and in this particular drive the birds are way up the top there um, that is, is not a slope, that is quite a, a you know, a bit of a, a sheer drop and the birds are on the top there and they'll get flushed out by the beaters and they'll fly over to reach this f uh, woodland behind, behind me there and the guns would obviously try to shoot the pheasants. Um, and that's basically what goes on in a pheasant drive. Um, on larger drives, you know, if uh, small shoots, they, they'll just have one, you know, one drive. But on these larger shoots, these big estates, they'll have several drives. Um, you know, once they've 
ended one drive, they'll move on to the next drive and so forth. And what happens then is, say if you've picked stand number two, you'd shoot at stand number two on that drive, the first drive, and then the next drive, you would move up a stand, so you would move up to stand number three, and who was on stand number three would move up to stand number four and so on. Say it had ten stands, whoever was standing on number ten would go back to number one, you know, and so forth, and I'll just show you. Now, uh, I've just moved up a bit, and you can see there, that's stand number three. So whoever picked stand number three at the beginning of the drive would stand there. And I'll just move on a bit further for you. Just to show you stand number four. And you can see there, they're all equally spaced out. That's uh, stand number four. And on some of these drives, um, the gamekeeper, you know, or the, the shoot manager will place a specific stand to make it really challenging for the gun. So that's it, basically. That's what happens in a pheasant drive. And I'll just show you uh, and on this particular drive where the actual birds Light and where the stand, you know, where the guns stand, just give you another idea. So that's this is the drive, and along the fencing is where the guns would stand. Along there, equally spaced out, and then at the start of the drive, the beaters will flush out the birds, which will, in this particular drive, will take flight on the tops of them trees and they'll fly over to that woodland there over that woodland there and that's where the guns would uh, try and shoot the pheasants so that's it i hope that's answered uh, a few questions that i've been having